Keeping a saltwater aquarium is generally rather expensive, but today I'm going to show you seven bits of equipment that will cost you less than £100. And if you're new here and want a weekly dose of reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out when I upload. First up are HANA checkers, and more specifically the Phosphate Ultra Low Range Checker and the Alkalinity Checker. Some of the HANA checkers, like the Nitrate and Calcium ones, are more hassle than they're worth, but these two are quick and easy to use and give consistent and accurate results. For the ALK checker, you need to add a sample of water to register a baseline, then you add liquid reagent, mix it in, reinsert it, and get your result. The phosphate checker uses the same process, except you use powdered reagent that you do need to give a good shake, and you need to wait three minutes before you get the result. But having tried numerous test kits over the years, I find these to be the best in terms of speed, accuracy, and consistency. They cost £65 each, so they are a little expensive, but I promise you won't regret buying them. Next up is the best orange lens for your mobile phone. Taking decent photos under blue LEDs is nigh on impossible, unless you use an orange or yellow filter to remove some of the Smurf style colouring. But not all orange lenses are created equal. Believe me, I've tried a few in my time. For mobile phones, the best I've found is the second generation DD lens. And second generation is the important part. The first one they made wasn't very good, but they've selected a much more appropriate shade of orange now that works really well. And the clip you're seeing of the frag tank at my local fish shop Reef Dreams was taken with a second generation DD lens and my Samsung Galaxy S20. And as a Brucey bonus, if you have a DSLR camera, you should check out the Tiffin 85B filters, which are even better than the DD filters. Next up are Jekod return pumps. All Jekod returns up to about 6,500 litres per hour will set you back less than a tonne. And not only are they cheap, they're also very quiet, fully adjustable, and more reliable than they've got any right to be at this price. They're so good in fact that it's hard to justify the extra cash for some of the sexier brands. And if you're looking to save money anywhere on a new tank, Jekod pumps are the first place you should look. Next up is one of the most overlooked bits of kit in the hobby, a fish trap. There are plenty of fish in the hobby that are considered to be reef safe with caution, but often that actually translates to, we'll eat all of your corals immediately. But most of these guys are just so damn stunning that I think they're worth taking the risk on. And if they go rogue, a £40 fish trap like this one from Aquamedic will be much easier than tearing down your entire rockscape and chasing the little blighter with a net. First on the podium is this four-way power supply splitter. Reef tanks are extremely plug socket hungry, and even on my simple 150 litre nano tank, I've managed to take up 12 plug sockets without even having a skimmer. But you can get round that with a power supply like this, which comes with a four-way splitter. And so long as you buy a power supply with enough watts to cope for whatever you plug into it, this is the best way to reduce the number of plug sockets you need. I use this 60 watt unit for my refugium lights, but you can use them for anything that has a 2.1mm connection like this, and you can even get adapters if your equipment has the slightly larger 2.5mm connectors. And the best part, this one, which I'll link in the description, cost me less than £17. First on the podium is a mainstay of the fresh and saltwater hobbies, the Eheim Single Auto Feeder. Whether you want to ensure your fish are fed the exact same amount at the same time each day, or if you need something to feed your fish when you go on holiday, the Eheim Auto Feeder is an absolutely fantastic piece of kit to have. They cost £40, the batteries last for centuries, and because it's made by German company Eheim, it will keep working forever. The only thing to be mindful of is that it is easy to overfeed your fish with an auto feeder, but when it comes to feeding your wet pets while you're on holiday, it is a lot more trustworthy than your neighbour Colin. Hello! And the single best piece of equipment you can buy for less than £100 is an RODI filter. As you may know, a reverse osmosis deionisation filter strips out all of the undesirables from your home water supply to leave behind sweet sweet H2O. Having good quality water to add as top off water and to use for your weekly salt water changes is for me one of the best things you can do to set your tank off on the right foot. And while an RODI filter will probably cost the full £100 or maybe even a little more, it will pay for itself in no time. And not only will you save money buying water from your local fish shop and have better water for your tank, it will also save you lugging heavy barrels of water in and out of your car every weekend. 
Now they do look intimidating at first, but when you get your hands on them, they're really easy to set up, and they are the one thing on this list that will make a significant improvement to your reef tank. 